go. And then it goes. Hello, Outcast5 from Vets Fleet here again with another commentary. And real quick, I got an image up. It's going to go away, but it'll come back. This, this is just how I set up my keyboard for bombing. And here I am going into the settings and just showing um, what letters I, what keys I use to, um, you know, better accommodate manual bombing. And uh, as you'll see here, I use K, L, semicolon, and apostrophe because they are all in a row right next to each other. And it makes it very easy that I can have one hand uh, on those four keys and then my other hand on the mouse, of course. And so we have K for lower altitude, L for raise altitude. Uh, the semicolon for the manual targeting switch and apostrophe is to release the bomb. And uh, I was I was taught this by a friend. Uh, this is what a lot of um, Chinese players, if you've seen the Chinese, uh, are generally pretty good at manual dive bombing and bombing in general. And this is one of the tips that I was first that I first received when I was trying to find out how to be a good manual dive bomber. And um, you know, like like I said, uh, you know, K to lower. It's on uh, the end. It's my pinky finger and L to raise, semicolon to actually turn the manual targeting on, and the apostrophe apostrophe key is to release the bomb. And see what I'm doing right here is I'm just setting manual targets. I'm pressing semicolon, left, and then I left click, and that sets the little disc, the little circle target, and your planes will go in that direction. And that's how I use. That's how I navigate my planes. Is just uh, very quickly setting manual targets, and then I'll set another one somewhere else. And in order to set a new target, uh, you either have to um, press the targeting system and left click again, which is what I was originally taught. But what I've adapted is just quickly pressing the lower altitude key will cancel the manual target, and so then you can just press uh, semicolon and left click somewhere else again. And here I am, just a real quick manual bomb on this guy. And you notice the manual target, I don't put it on the ship. If you put it on the ship, you're going to miss, uh, at least when you're, when you're using the, the method that I'm teaching today, which is the quick release, the max altitude release, the Chinaman drop, whatever you want to call it. Chinaman drop sounds probably the best, but I don't know, maybe going into the realms of racism with that, but we'll move on. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, I just set quick targets around to navigate my planes and that's usually how I group them up is um, first thing you want to do for no matter what type of plane you're launching is you launch the highest uh, squadron number first. So I had five and four ready. I launched five first and then four and that groups the uh, squad leaders very close at the launch and all I have to do is just set a couple manual targets, maybe weave them uh, left and right. You may see me doing that and that groups them very nicely into a single blob of devastation if you want to say that and here I am I'm just getting myself in a position and what I was trying to show here is don't rush it you know see here I lose vision when I was getting ready to go in um, and instead of rushing it and trying to guess where he would have been just back out and real quickly I just right clicked because that's the quickest way to uh, send your plane somewhere if if you've made a mistake or if you're trying to avoid something just right click and then use the manual targeting to set them into their direction again and there you go I target about um, if you look at it look at the manual aiming uh, circle the disc uh, I target about one one of those widths out so if you were to put uh, one of those discs in between the ship and where I actually target that's that's how I aim and uh, it's really uh, it's hard to explain. I'm probably confusing a lot of people. I understand that. But, but uh, the real key thing is for learning how to manual dive bombing is practice. I was absolutely terrible when I started. I'm, I'm not the best now, but I think I'm pretty good for um, standards on our server. Uh, but I was, I was terrible at the start. And the only way I got better was lots of practice and trying new things out, trying different timing methods. Something you need to um, be aware of is once I've set my manual target on uh, the spot where I want to bomb, I immediately start holding the release key, and that's how you get them to instant drop. And so um, something that's very uh, kind of complicated about that is uh, your bombs are going to drop in different spots based on how quickly you press the, you start holding the manual release key uh, after you've set the target. So if I set the target and I immediately start holding the manual release key which is apostrophe uh, it's gonna drop the bomb 
probably about two or three widths uh, away from where the target actually is. Now if I was to set the target and then start holding the manual release key just before it reaches the target, it's probably not even going to drop uh, from max altitude. It's going to make them dive and then they're going to drop and you're going to probably miss. And uh, it's There's no exact science as to how long you need to hold it. Um, what I usually do is uh, when I'm about one, one ship length away from the target, maybe about a half a ship length away from uh, whatever my target is, that's when I set my um, my manual target that I'm going to actually bomb with, and immediately I will start holding the um, the manual release key. And uh, here, let's see what. It, let's get back onto the video. I've just been kind of uh, talking here. I think I'm showing ways not to bomb here, or ways that you can fail, uh, and that you shouldn't uh, be too reliant on where the actual manual target is because a lot of it is the timing of when you start holding the release key and let's see what we're going to do here with this uh, Nevada oh I'm, I'm showing actually here how to quickly turn this is best for avoiding AA see I'm just setting the target left and right and very quickly weaving and that's a quick turn now a slower turn is where you set a manual target and very quickly press the lower altitude key and you'll see it's a much more sluggish turn it doesn't turn as quickly um, when you set the manual target they'll very quickly turn to wherever that target is but if you set the target and hit the lower altitude key real quick then it's going to be a slower turn and you can use that and incorporate it in your gameplay however you'd like um, but the quick turn is very good for avoiding AA um, you just kind of left and right weave uh, with the quick turn and they can't, they can't get a good angle and here this is going to miss it's perfect target but uh, the thing is, is I held the apostrophe key right when my bombers were just at the ship. And so you'll see that misses. It doesn't drop it earlier. And um, it's generally uh, a bad idea. And also another thing is having lower altitude planes. If, when your planes are that low of altitude, they tend to um, drop later. I, I don't know what reason that is. It's just something I've experienced myself is that the bombs will drop later rather than um, how they usually drop if you're at a max altitude um, I don't know if it's um, if it's a linear change you know the, the lower you get uh, in altitude the more extreme that case is I don't know uh, that's just kind of how Navy field is it's uh, nothing is really ever definite it seems uh, a lot of things people don't know a lot of things the developers themselves don't know uh, I think that's due in part to the original developers leaving long time ago and here I'm, I'm just going to show, uh, I think here I show how that even though you put the manual target directly on the ship, it's going to go about one or two um, target lengths behind uh, wherever it is you're bombing. And so this is just to, um, to show you, to reinforce, you know, how you need to set the target past wherever the ship is. If you're approaching from the south, set the target north of the ship, past the ship. And see here I'm going to put the target right on him. You think it would be great? and look at the difference. See it's about one or two target lengths away and uh, that's just something you need to keep in mind and here I'm, I'm not sure I think I'm gonna do it again but uh, this is pretty much the end of the commentary um, I know I'm probably forgetting quite a few things but um, I'll probably make a revision video maybe even re-upload re -upload this video there my voice cracked I'm going through puberty again um, but anyways, I'll probably re-upload this video if I remember that I missed enough things. And, uh, you know, be sure to leave in the comments section what you want to see, what you think I missed. And I will be sure to address that. And here, I, I think I'm going to miss again. Uh, I think I... Let's see. Yeah, see, that was about three target lengths out. I started holding the manual dive bomb key uh, like three ship lengths away. And so that's just to show that you need to get the timing. It's something you got to work on. And uh, oh, real quick on grouping planes, I always click on the inside of a circle. If you look when they launch, they make a, like a half circle. You always want to set a target on the inside of that half circle, and they group group up very quickly. But anyways, here uh, I think I was just experimenting with timings again, and it's really hard for you to be able to see because you can't see when I'm holding the keys. Um, but yeah, I was just experimenting with timings and showing how that uh, it is very key. Even if you set the target on the perfect spot. Uh, you can still miss uh, because it's all a matter of timing. And uh, anyways, uh, Outcast 5 from Vets Fleet here again. And uh, 
like I said, be sure to leave your feedback, and I'll try and address whatever it is you, uh, you have to say. And hopefully uh, I can also do another guide on manual torque bombing if there's enough interest. Just let me know in the comments section below what you want to see, and I'll try and deliver my glorious fans. All right, catch you later.